two years of training has led to this, come with me to see my very first patient in clinic. So today we are starting recall clinic. It actually started a little bit earlier this week, but I'm seeing my first patient today as the provider. We're doing a regular intake visit for comprehensive care. So that means going over medical history, patient history, and then maybe even doing a profi. So I'm so excited. I don't know how well much I'll be able to record, but I'll definitely talk about it afterwards with you guys and show you how the clinic looks. So while I'm waiting for the train, I'm gonna go over the clinic workflow that we had put together by upperclassmen. We graduated D4s and D3s, which are now D4s. I've actually put together kind of like a checklist of everything that we have to do. So, you know, we were all stressed out about not forgetting any steps and they were kind enough to put together kind of like a presentation for us. So that's what I'm gonna go over right now. I have some time on my commute. It's starting to feel very real now. I did have some issues accessing Epic, which is the system that we use for the hospital for our records. So hopefully I will be able to access that today. Fingers crossed, pray for me. I hope that I have no epic issues this morning, especially because it's my first time seeing a patient and that would just be starting off on a really bad foot. I mean, really bad note. But yeah, I see my train coming, so I'm gonna review for a few minutes and then this is clinic. First patient? Yeah, because Ooh. last week I was supposed to be a provider, but I had issues with epic. Oh. So my assistant ended up being the provider. It was good though. I like it just like a little hectic because yeah. like I didn't know whether I was going to be providing until like the morning of because I kept like having girl and was like, oh, we're still checking. So you only just got access like today? Oh, well, not today, but like last week. So oh. last week when everyone was doing their first yeah. day, I was supposed to provide for the night. Yeah. Alright, so here's the chair setup. <laughs> I think everything is done. Right? Everything? Everything? Yeah, water's there. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Everything's covered in plastic until the patient arrives. Much, much, much later. Okay, so I finished my visit with my patient. She was so sweet and she made it so easy for me and my classmate who was assisting me today, but it was just really stressful to get all the approvals and the sign-offs done. I was a little bit stressed out because I kind of did things in the wrong order. Like I was just trying to get like her extras out of the way, her exams out of the way that I kind of forgot to get sign-offs for her treatment plan for what she's doing next. And I had to leave for work and I had to just like hold her to schedule her next appointment, which was so frustrating for me because I felt really bad that I had to like hold her back, but she scheduled to come back and I'm excited to keep treating her. I really hope that she comes back even though this visit was long because she's very sweet and I feel like we established a good rapport. Sometimes it can be more difficult when someone like doesn't know how long they have to be here for or like they don't want to do some of the things that we have to do just because we're at a teaching institution but she was so open to everything. She was like ready to do all the x-rays, you know. She was okay with like multiple people checking to make sure that we did her perio charting correctly. So it was so exciting but also very stressful and now I'm I am starved and I have to finish writing my note and then I will make sure that she can be scheduled for her next visit and come back and hopefully we can get her a cleaning and then do a little bonding for her on a front tooth which I'm excited to do because it's an aesthetic thing which I'm so thrilled about. Hopefully I get to be the one to do it. I'll definitely get to do her cleaning so that's gonna be fun. Well, that was very stressful but also very rewarding. It feels so nice to finally be able to see patients, but I just gotta get into the workflow of like doing things in the right order and making sure to get sign-offs at the right points in time. It's also hard because faculty are so busy so you have to stand around and wait for them to sign, so you know. But say la vie. I felt like it went pretty well. I'm really thankful for my classmate who was so on top of everything. She like cleaned everything super fast, made sure everything was set up. Really could not have had a better assistant for today. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so excited. This is my first impressions. I'm really, really happy that I get to do this. And it's this is what I've been waiting for for the, the past two years and even before that. So yeah, I don't know. Kind of feeling emotional, but also very excited. <laughs> yeah, okay. No? And then we'll sign off then. Medina Malik. What I want to ask of you is that you treat our patients with the highest standard of care and the utmost dignity. Absorb as much as you can. Gain every experience um, that comes your way. Mistakes happen, but this is the best place to make them trust me. You want to make them fear and not you outside when you're practicing. We'll be here to support you. We're here to help and we're here to support. 
and we will always have your backs. One of the biggest pieces of advice that I can give you is to always do right by your patient. If you do this, you will be successful every time. I, I promise you. Hi, so I am editing this video and I felt compelled to just say thank you. Thank you to anyone who has been watching my vlogs because when I was looking at the clinician ceremony footage, God, I'm getting emotional <laughs> just talking about this, but um, I was looking at the clinician ceremony footage and then I decided to go back and look at my um, white coat ceremony. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I actually didn't expect to cry, sorry, this is not just like... I looked back at my um, white coat ceremony. I wanted to say that I'm so grateful. One, because I'm just grateful that I have it and that I was able to document it and that years down the line, I could look back at some of this footage and see some of the incredible milestones that I've gone through in dental school. And I feel like the summer has been so hectic and I've just been wrapped up in clinic and starting to see patients and going on rotations where I just didn't take a moment to fully process exactly what happened and the fact that we are treating patients now and that I pretty much every day am helping somebody whether that is through giving them a deep cleaning or doing oral health education you know even small things like that that we probably think of as insignificant when we go out into the real world and start practicing <laughs> I'm just kind of now as I was editing this video taking a moment to process the fact that patients are in my care I am responsible for them for their oral health and making sure that they are not in pain and that they don't have have any active disease and again I'm thankful that I've had this time to document it and that even on days when I didn't feel like my best self or I didn't really feel like I was doing anything productive that I kind of still pushed through and made something because I've been taking a lot of time to look back at my old content and one boy oh boy has my editing gotten better but also just looking at the fact that I've grown up so much in these last two years this summer was a really huge transition for me as a dental student because we essentially have completely shifted away from the lecture style of learning and we are now mostly learning in clinic we are learning through experiences we're seeing our patients through treatment planning and looking at real world examples of cavities and periodontal disease and just some of the afflictions that can affect our patients. Such a different type of learning experience. It requires a lot of self-discipline. We are no longer really studying for tests. We now just have to make sure that we review things before procedures in some ways that takes a little bit of the pressure off, but in other ways you're kind of on your own because you're no longer being guided as to what to study. The other day I had a patient who had come in for a recall visit and one of our periodontal faculty was asking me for the staging and the grading of this patient in terms of their periodontal disease you know obviously i before going to her had reviewed the charts for staging and grading i didn't like remember them off the top of my head because i still haven't fully memorized them but you, again you don't have to you can always look them up but i gave her the staging and the grading for the patient and i gave her my reasoning she had some mobile teeth in the anterior as well that i was able to check the mobility and and i apparently accurately classified the mobility of those teeth and she looks at me and she's like yeah i agree with your diagnosis i agree with your assessment of the mobility you know you're good at this and hearing that i didn't realize that i was kind of holding my breath every time i spoke to faculty about my patients but i realized it in that moment because it's not the fact that i'm waiting for praise by no means am i doing that it's the acknowledgement of the fact that i was actually able to apply the knowledge that i had and use it for my patients and i think that that's such an underrated feeling and i'm so grateful Grateful to be able to do that. I just wanted to throw that in there because editing this footage, which by the way was shot like a month and a half ago at this point, it was the first time where I really took the time to kind of process the kind of transition that we went through this summer and not get so caught up on everything else that was going on. I'm grateful to be able to document it and if you've been around and you've been watching since the original white coat video, which I feel like that wasn't that many of you, probably had like 100 or 200 subscribers at that time, but if you have been around since then, I would love if you could drop a comment down below telling me you know what your favorite video of mine has been because it's always nice every year when i meet the new d1s at columbia everyone that comes up to me and they're like oh my god i watched your dental school vlog i'm always almost like shell shocked because sometimes i just kind of put videos
videos out there and I don't really think about people who watch them But then people come up to me in real life and they're like, oh, yeah I watched this vlog of yours and then I'm like, oh my god People are actually seeing them and people that have no idea who I am They've never met me before they don't know anyone who knows me personally But they find my videos because they search something and they come up and if you find it helpful or if you find it entertaining or you find it informational that's all that I can ask for. A very long-winded way of saying thank you for letting me document my journey. Now it will look a little bit different. It's a really huge change, so. Okay, and on that note, I will end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.